A curious paradox of wisdom is the need to let go of the traditional idea of knowing. Socrates now famously stated, all that I know is that I know nothing. His student Plato wrote, we do not know neither the sophists, nor the orators, nor the artists, nor I, what the true, the good, and the beautiful are. But there is this difference between us. Although these people know nothing, they all believe they know something. Whereas I, if I know nothing, at least I have no doubts about it. As a result, all this superiority in wisdom which the oracle has attributed to me reduces itself to the single point that I am strongly convinced that I am ignorant of what I do not know. During an interview on In Search of Wisdom, Estelle Frankel, the author of The Wisdom of Not Knowing, explained that being receptive to the unknown enables us to become open, curious, and expansive in our lives. When we fail to do so, it results in us going into sleep mode or autopilot. Now, although this autopilot is a helpful feature for developing healthy habits, it can also dull our perception and rob us of life's wonder. The practitioner of the Socratic method thinks in questions, is at home with uncertainty, and knows how to value a search that doesn't end. How can we start embracing uncertainty and realize the value of work that has no end? The wisdom of not knowing enables us to break our love of holding on to opinions. It feels good to know what you think. And often when people turn to philosophy, they usually want more of that pleasure. According to Socrates, our most urgent problem is we are certain when we shouldn't be and think we know when we do not. For this reason, the philosophy of Socrates is not a set of beliefs, it's an activity. The Socratic method does not replace our opinions with better ones. It changes our relationship to our opinions. It replaces the love of holding them with the love of testing them. To conclude, this timeless quote from Socrates illustrates the wisdom of not knowing. True wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us.